Hello, everybody. Hello, Karen. How are you? All right. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. Okay, I'm trying a new microphone um, today because my my other one is just not good. So, all right. I don't know. Am I live? It's not coming up here. Um. Let me restart this. Oh, there we go. All right. Good thing I can edit all this out. <laughs> all right. I think it's a little dark, so the sun keeps coming in and out. So we're just going to have to kind of go in between. Hello, Sylvie. Hello, Irma. Hello, Jessica. There we go. Now I can see myself. Hello, Terry. Hello, hello. All right, we're just gonna play. This is like the only thing that is bringing me excitement right now. So I haven't been doing a lot of creating, but thinking about you doing the alcohol ink technique on the gel plate, that gets me wanting to create. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I've done this before and I absolutely love it. So we're just going to jump right in. Actually, first, I wanted to tell you about, about a class that's coming. It's going to launch or it's going to go live on June 10th. It's already all set up. Um, these are the cards that we will create in that class, different from Alcohol Ink. So if you're just here for the Alcohol Inks, you can pass this up, but we create one background and get five cards out of it. And you'll get an exclusive uh, color combination chart as well as um, a uh, like a Zoom crafty session. Um, and the link for that class is in the description box and you can get 15% off. The code is in the description box as well for that. So with that out of the way, I am going to get started and let's see here. We need a gel plate, of course, any size will do. And we're going to need some hand sanitizer and some alcohol inks. And if you are watching this on the replay uh, and you want a quick, fast tutorial, then this live stream probably isn't for you. I will be interacting with the people in the chat, just how I, how I roll. So if that irritates you, then this video is not for you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put down some hand sanitizer, just a little bit, and I'm not going to show anything new, nothing exciting, too exciting. All right, exactly, Jessica. I struggle. I think probably many people struggle because I love interacting with everybody, and this is a great way to do that. But then when people watch the uh, replay, oh, you, you say hi to too many people. It gets annoying when you chat with the people and we don't know who they are. <laughs> then come to the live. No, just kidding. All right, I'm just going to put down some color here. I got some cloudy blue. And I did have a second camera set up but I can't figure out how to turn it on. So I was prepared today for something different, but you know, I always say it, the more prepared I am, the less prepared I will be. <laughs> All right, so that was eggplant. Uh, and then the first color was cloudy blue. This color is turquoise. I want some more cloudy blue. 
or I'm sorry, eggplant. This color is amazing. All right, and somebody asked on the last live stream in the comments actually this morning, what would happen if you just, if you didn't move the color around? So we're going to try that. I'm gonna add some mushroom. And I'm going to use this dirty stencil and I'm just going to add it right on top. And we're going to add some paper just to kind of press that stencil in, get that design on the plate here. All right, and you can use this. I don't, I tend to use the same kind of scrap paper to lift up. And then we're just going to lift this up. And I'm going to do a pull without adding the alcohol lift ink. Let's see. Welcome to the membership, Wanda. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for your support. All right. So you don't really get the same look. So let me grab, see if I can find one that is similar pattern. Let's see here. So here's when I use similar colors, but you could see kind of the difference. Prism, no, no, don't feel bad. Don't be sorry. It's not necessary to donate through the super chat or be a, a member or anything like that. So don't feel bad. Just you being here and um, hopefully getting inspired to create is, is perfect. So you could see that the difference, I didn't use the alcohol lift ink on this one, and but I did on this one. Did the lift ink on? No, I did not on this one. So I wanted to try it and you could definitely tell that there is a difference. I don't know what kind of magic source, I don't know what it is with the, with the lift ink. I tried the alcohol inks without the lift ink. It is good to see the difference. I'm waiting for the lift ink to arrive. Oh, here comes the sun. It's going to get really bright. And I even closed my... Oh, man. All right. We're just going to keep it a little, little dark. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. All right. Sorry about that. The joys of being live. Maybe I should get some curtains. All right. We're going to use some uh, Copic reinkers. These I really, really love because they come in so many different colors. And I'm going to add some hand sanitizer. The hand sanitizer, what, the, what it does is it helps the alcohol ink not dry so fast. So it helps it kind of spread out and you'll see, after I do this one, I'll show you what the alcohol ink does if you just add it straight to the gel plate. All right, we're going to add some of this color. This is Tuscan Orange. This is probably my favorite color combination at the moment. And I learned this from a lady. She's an uh, alcohol ink artist. She does a lot of uh, florals. If you want to learn how to make florals with alcohol inks, then her name is Anne Ruse Art on Instagram. She's got a membership. I could not get the hang of the florals, no matter how much I tried. Um, but she inspired me to create um, with alcohol inks on a canvas. So I learned something. <laughs> it wasn't what she was teaching, but I tried it. <laughs> All right. Sorry. This is the second color was peony. This color is Argyle Purple. 
and we're just going to put that down there. And I think I want to add a little bit more of this here. Then let's see. I'm going to take the blower tool just to kind of mix this around a little bit. And maybe a little spritzy spritz there. And there we go. And I like to spritz some isopropyl alcohol and then I also like to splatter it. So I'll take the nozzle out and then just use it to kind of drop the alcohol ink or the uh, isopropyl alcohol onto the gel plate. It helps spread things around, gives more depth. All right. All right, we're gonna use this stencil again because it is my favorite. Um, and it has a lot of alcohol ink left on it. That's okay. Patricia, no worries. Hello, creative. Sonia, there we go. And anybody else that is just joining, welcome, welcome. If you're lurking and not chatting, I would love for you to say hello. Nobody will bite, I promise. Everybody's friendly. So if you're shy, don't be. Say hello. All right. So I'm going to let this kind of sit for a second and dry before we add the alcohol lift ink. Sorry, I am honestly still waking up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why I scheduled it for so early, but it is what it is. I was like, oh, I'm still drinking my coffee, kind of um, working on some classes on my website. And I was like, what time was my live stream? And I thought I'd done it for 11. I was like nine and I had 30 minutes. So but luckily I was working on something yesterday with the same supply. So everything was out for me this morning. All right, let this dry. I think I might do some stamping if I can find my stamps. I know I took them out where I put them is another story. Oh, there they are. I didn't bring them over to me. All right, so we are going to use the Sorry, I had to get up and get my alcohol ink lift the ink pad because we're going to be doing some lifting with the stamp. So this is really cool to do. You just stamp it just like this and it lifts up the ink onto the stamp. All right. Now doo -doo -doo, we're going to dry this a little bit. And I'm going to take a paper towel just to kind of get some of that excess lift ink off so that it picks up that alcohol ink you could see there. I don't want it to spread out. I want it to hopefully keep whatever design is there. So I'm going to lift that up. All right, now we're going to add 
the lift ink maybe where did it go didn't I just have it oh my goodness I what in the world Where did it go? Oh, it's right in front of my face. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right. Good thing it's Friday. We're going to place a little bit on the bottom here. <laughs> okay, now everybody's laughing at me because you could see what is around me. You know what? I'm just going to zoom in. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take the brayer and I'm just going to brayer it just a little bit. If you do it too much, then you're going to lift up all of that ink onto your brayer and you do not want that. All right, I can laugh at myself. It's okay. <laughs> and we're going to take... piece of cardstock. This is just regular cardstock. It's like 80 pound or something. Man, that sun. Holy moly. All right, now we're going to lift up. It kind of got really splotchy, but I really like that. And I lost a lot of everything there. I think I was working a little slow. I think, uh, Jessica, I think that's like everybody. It's like the number one question is where did that go, right? <laughs> Can you use the brayer to lift that? Um, not sure what you're asking. Can you use a brayer to lift that? Um, maybe rephrase the question. Sorry, Patricia, not understanding. Maybe I need a little bit more coffee. All right, let's do doo -doo -doo. Um, another alcohol ink that I absolutely love, and they have so many beautiful colors, is, come on, I'm using my spinner over here, and there's not enough room. I didn't grab my table. When you were just using, rubbing the cardstock on the ink. Um, like that, like like this to press it in sure of course if that's what you mean all right so um anyways Alta News alcohol reinkers alcohol marker reinkers they are amazing as well I have a lot of different colors so we are going to oh I wanted to show you what would happen if you just add the alcohol ink to the, the gel plate. So I don't know if you remember, but you can see that it doesn't spread out as much. So let me add just a little bit of the um, hand sanitizer. And the hand sanitizer has alcohol ink alcohol in it. It is ethyl alcohol. It's very important. So I'm going to show you. So you can see that that just kind of sits there when you add a drop over the hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, you could see that it just spreads out, which is what we want. That's why the hand sanitizer is so important. And we're going to add, that color was Sicilian Amber. This one is Honey Drizzle. And we're just going to kind of roll with it. 
These do irritate me a little bit just because I it's hard to get the cap on sometimes. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Galactic. Mm, do I want? Yeah, that's fine. Galactic Stream. Let's see. Mm, I should have went in with more blue. Nimbus is one of my favorites. All right, that's a lot. Let's see. I'm going to brayer this out, and there is still some. What is that? The hand sanitizer on there, and I think I'm just going to get a big muddy mess. But we'll see what it, what happens here. We're going to use this stencil this time. These stencils are so huge. All right, I'm going to lay it right on top. Add the paper to lift up some of that. Ink there. And then we're going to lift up the stencil. And you can always use this. Um, I haven't really gotten a good impression. Like even if you spritz it, um, you know what actually might work? is using, you know, I'm going to try it after this, using another gel plate and adding the hand sanitizer, making an imprint with that on the gel plate. We're going to see if that works. All right, because I hate wasting all of that alcohol ink because it could make a really cool um, in, like in background. Let's see, where did my mister go? All right, so I'm going to add uh, some spritzes of isopropyl alcohol just to kind of give it more texture and then I like to add some droplets as well and I'm going to use these are from Carabelle Studio these are designed for gel printing so I, I really love these they are a little bit pricey but I really love them so let's see what happens if I just, yeah, nothing happens. So I need the alcohol lift ink. All right, so I'm just going to lift that up and then you can always stamp that back out on another paper. See if I can. There we go. Anybody have any cool plans for the summer? All right. My kids are opting in. It's called like, um, it's kind of summer school, but it's like enrichment programs. So they're actually doing that. So I don't know. It's not for a grade or anything, but we were planning on going to San Diego at some point in the first part of the summer. My kids are crazy and can't get enough of school. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's grab... We do have a camping trip planned, of course, always. I don't like to do theme parks or anything like that during the summer just because it's so busy. But we'll definitely at some point go to San Diego. Um, it's where my husband is from, so all of his family's there. All right, I'm going to add the alcohol lift reinker add that onto there and i'm going to work faster this time oh come on maybe oh no it's pull it's like getting that thing like the speckles i didn't want that to happen
Ooh, what do you have in your garden? I want a garden. I can't even keep succulents alive, so. Ooh, look at that. You can see where the brayer picked up some of that alcohol ink, though. I haven't mastered this yet, but we're getting there. I'm learning, and the only way to learn is to do, so. All right, let's see what we can get. Ooh, I like that too. I think I have more fun creating backgrounds than creating full projects. I'm in that stage of my creativity right now. So we're just creating some backgrounds here. All right, so I'm going to grab another uh, gel plate so I can try something. homeschool so we vacation when the other kids go to school then we have the whole resort to ourselves nice I tried homeschooling and I had high hopes but I was horrible at it I thought I would be good I mean it wasn't I think I too hard on myself, but it was hard when you have a teenager with that only wants to do the bare minimum. And then, uh, she was nine, 10 at the time. She just, I don't know. It was, it was bad. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take this and see what we can do here. I'm going to add some, there we go. See, and I think that's, oh, come on. That was part of my problem was I was the teacher. So with my daughter specifically, my son was kind of on his own. He did his, his own thing, but definitely the bare minimum. And um, it was always a struggle with my daughter to do really anything. We fought all the time. All right, so I'm going to take some uh, hand sanitizer, added it to the gel plate, and I don't mind the green. I think it'll add to the background. And then I'm gonna take the this stencil with all of that alcohol ink on it, and then I'm going to press it in to here and then see if some of that alcohol ink lifts off onto the gel plate and then we can use what's left on that uh, stencil. So let's see. All right. I see something. It doesn't lift all the way off, but you know what? I'm gonna go in on this one, do the same thing. Mm, a little bit there. Let's see what we get. I think I, oh no, I didn't. All right. Let's see. Ooh, that's cool. So I didn't add any. Uh, alcohol lift ink on here. I wanted to see what would happen. That's actually pretty cool. And I love using alcohol inks. I don't do a lot of collaging, but um, they would be great for collaging for sure. These backgrounds. That's kind of cool too. Let's see. Thank you. 
I'm just lifting up that ink on here that's left on the gel plate. All right. It's kind of cool. Um, what happens if you break your alcohol lift reinker into the dried stencil? Would that pull the ink off better? Um, oh, you know what? I wonder. I can't find my reinker again. Oh boy, oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. Is it in my pocket? Nope. Where did it go? Oh my gosh. Well, folks, I cannot find my reinker again. I need to have it on a lanyard so it just stays right next to me. Because holy moly. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and <laughs> just tell me if you guys can see it. Is it anywhere? Is it ball? What in the world? Maybe under the care bow. Oh, behind the hand sanitizer. I'm going to make something to where I can just have it on me. Okay. We're going to try something. So I'm going to take some of this lift ink. I'm going to zoom back in too. So if you're watching the replay, I apologize for making you sick, all this nonsense. But it may be entertaining for people that are here. <laughs> <laughs> and all right so I'm going to brayer this out on here get it on my brayer and then I'm going to brayer on top of the stencil here then what we're going to do is add that just like this. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that's a good idea. Monique, very, very good idea. Have you been getting the crazy weather, Monique? It's been crazy. I wish it would just storm straight instead of just randomly a little bit. That kind of worked a little bit. I think, hmm. let me see here. Yes, as soon as we got our pool perfect, this happens every single year. Well, this is our third year having it, but our pool gets perfect and then it decides to storm and then there is just a layer of dirt on the bottom and it's not fun. All right, so I added some alcohol lift ink to this uh, gel plate, and then I'm going to add the stencil there, see if we can get it lifted up. Okay, we're getting somewhere, but I think we're using too much of the other product to get the little bit amount of 
alcohol ink off of the stencil. It was going to be nuts. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Ooh, that's really cool. So that works. I mean, all of these are cool. Good starting point for something, right? Hi, Penny. How are you? Hello, hello. All right, I'm going to brayer this off. And to clean your gel plate, you just use some isopropyl alcohol or hand sanitizer. And then I just like to wipe it clean. The Depending on what colors you use on your gel plate, it will stain it. So, um, but it doesn't take away from how the gel plate works. And I heard that if you need to condition your gel plate or get it really, really clean to use um, baby oil. I haven't tried it, um, but that's what I've heard. All right. All right, what next? Need to reposition here. Take a sip of water. So I want to know, are you a, when you wake up, you drink water first, tea or coffee? What do you do? What do you drink first when you wake up? I would love to know. I know it's a weird question. <clears throat> water, coffee. Yes, coffee. I tried to drink water when I first wake, woke up and it was going okay, but I just, not that I don't like the taste of water because I can drink water all the time. I don't really drink a lot of soda, um, but it just, I felt when I was doing it, my body was telling me like, what is going in your mouth? This is not coffee because <laughs> I really am wanting to try and get my inflammation um, you know, sort it out. Um, and that was one of the first things was to not start your day with coffee or like anything sugary, just to drink water and then breakfast and then coffee. Well, that didn't last too long. All right, let's do some, I want to do some, uh, some prints on some book paper. Um, what colors do I want to use? I'm going to do it on the big plate this time, just because I'm going to brayer this out. And we'll do it on this one. I know it definitely, I need to do it again, but um, cause I need to do it long enough to create, to make it a habit versus like, you know, water with lemon without sugar. Yeah, I like lemon water a lot actually. And I do lemon, with cucumber and some ginger as well. I like to keep that in the fridge. Abby loves that. All right, so I'm gonna add some Dijon, some eggplant. Coffee is my breakfast, yes. Although I have to drink, or I have to eat breakfast now, and I don't, a lot of times I will try and have like hard boiled eggs um, but like this morning, 
Well, yesterday I made some chorizo and eggs with potato, and I had that with a tortilla, which I really shouldn't, but I did. <laughs> uh, I have to eat something. I have to have something in my stomach for when I take my, my medicine, or else I get really queasy. All right. Let's see what other colors we got here. Cool Perry. First thing, I drink a few sips of water, then coffee. Yeah, if I have a water bottle or like a cup of water next to my bed, I'll drink that. Um, but I don't make it a habit anymore to do that because... I have a problem with self-control. I will admit it. Um, did I do mushroom already? I don't think I did. Here we go. Ooh, yes, mint leaf lemon sorry my squeaky chair all right let's do let's do this stencil i just picked a handful of stencils that were in um oh, you know what i have an idea Where's that stamp? There we go. I'm going to try and get some impression with this stamp. Just to add some texture. My favorite breakfast is probably hard boiled eggs, or I actually do them in the air fryer. I don't eat, boil them anymore. Air fryer works perfect. I use my air fryer for everything. All right, we are going to lightly go over so I can get some of that up, and then a lot of it is still left but that's going to give a lot of cool texture. Oh, I forgot about this plate. This plate needs some love. Let's do, you know, we'll, we'll leave that one for now. I can't, too much thinking here. Okay. <laughs> um, I found my reinker. Didn't lose it again. All right, I'm going to add the uh, alcohol lift stuff there and then ooh, that is going to lift up all of my ink I like oatmeal too there we go There we go. I'm gonna take a big piece of cardstock. And again, this is just regular 80 pound cardstock, nothing fancy. You can use printer paper too if you want, but I found that this 80 pound cardstock, it soaks it, soaks up the ink and everything perfectly. All right. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that goodness. Love that. And you can see the stamping there. You can see the circles. I like this look. You know what, just for, and I stained my plate, just 
for entertainment purposes. I'm going to set this aside first. Okay. And for the last one, I'm just going to use, um, I'm actually going to get that like that and then add some more ink here. And I'm going to use some um, paint on top. So I have white, is it white acrylic or gesso? I don't know, something right next to me that I'm going to do the pull with. So see what we get. I'm gonna add a little bit of current. I hope so, Jessica. I hope so. <laughs> we shall see. And you know, I am not afraid to try something and tell you my honest opinion about anything really. If it doesn't work, if the tool is crap. If a product is janky, I don't care. I will tell you. All right, I'm gonna add some splatters here. I do actually have one technique. It's a technique using inks and embossing folders and the title was going to be the worst em embossing folder technique ever. Although a lot of people do it, but I kind of didn't want the backlash, so it's kind of going back in the vault. <laughs> we'll see when I'm brave enough, if, if I am brave enough to ever bring it out. I just couldn't get it to work, so. All right. This is some big bubble wrap. And I'm just going to do that. And then what other stencil I got here? Ooh, I really like this one. Oh, I forgot I was going to do the book paper. Oh, that's a good idea, Patricia. All right, let's add a layer of this ink here, or I'm sorry, the paint, maybe. Maybe not. Do I have another something? Maybe I have something to Sorry, I gotta unclog this. Oh, come on. Come on, I wanna try this. <laughs> All right, while I'm trying to unclog this, I will just a friendly reminder, I do have another class coming up and it's um, creating these cards here. Well, that's a couple of them. I don't know where the other ones went, but we'll create the background and then we'll create five cards using that one background. Oh, you know what will work? There we go. Oh my goodness. See? Not working here. I don't have any other paint, I don't think. Let me check, bear with me for one second. Oh, 
Okay. All right. This is what I got. That's what's in the bottle, but the bottle. Let's see. Gotta just put a little bit. This is real creating at its finest. I'm telling you. I'm gonna just get a thin layer on my brayer here. All right, now take the paper. Um, very new. What's the difference between alcohol lift ink and isopropyl alcohol? Use Axel. <laughs> yeah. Let me just go to the garage. I'll use the, the saw out there. Um, okay. So Lindsay, the difference is isopropyl alcohol is, I guess the simplest way to explain it is the Isopropyl alcohol is used to like move it around and I don't know what the formula is for the lift ink, but it just lifts it up. It doesn't move the ink. It, it just lifts it up. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, all right. I don't know how this is going to turn out. All right, here we go. Ooh, that actually, I actually kind of like that. It's different from the ones that I did before because the ones before were a lot more splotchy. I wish I would have blended these out a little bit more, but I still really like um, this look the most. I still like this. It just is like more, I don't know how to explain it. It's still really cool. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna have paint everywhere. <laughs> Flowy, there we go, that's a good word. Yeah, so if you want that good impression, use, um, the acrylic paint to lift up. If you want more flowiness, then uh, use the alcohol lift reinker. A stain gel plate is a love gel plate. Yes. What kind of paper do you use with alcohol inks? So for this, I'm just using regular cardstock, but if you want to play around with alcohol inks um, and create things like this.